All right, hello guys, and welcome to my final winter forecast for 2019 to 2020. I have some very exciting stuff to show you guys. I, it's been over a month since I made one of these, so there's some big exciting changes on the way for you guys to see. We're gonna go over the precipitation forecast, temperature forecast, and overall forecast. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to share this video with your friends and family on Facebook and other social medias if you think they'll find it useful or informative. Now we're gonna start things out with our precipitation forecast, which is super exciting. You can see we have below average precipitation there in California, Oregon, and Nevada. And we're only gonna have this first shade of tan because I'm not quite as confident as I was before about it being dry in California, Nevada, and Oregon. I, in the older winter forecast videos, I brought out the second shade of brown. I'm not gonna do that in this one because I'm not quite as confident in those dry conditions. Now, as you can see, we have above average precipitation there from Montana down into the Great Lakes and up through the Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, and Southeastern United States. All of these regions are in the first shade of green, meaning again, not gonna be too noticeable and I'm not as confident for these areas as I am for my second shade of green here where we see some areas in the Great Lakes, Northeastern United States, Mid-Atlantic, and Southeastern United States all having this second shade of green, which is where we're gonna be a little bit more confident in that precipitation and most likely gonna have more precipitation as well in these regions. We're gonna have a clipper storm track, which should be quite common, heading down from Montana through the North Central United States and back out through the Northeast. And then also a Nor'easter storm track, which is gonna be coming from the Gulf states and then all the way up the East Coast. Where all these storm tracks meet is where we're gonna have the most above average precipitation. Now let's get into the super exciting temperature forecast, which is gonna have massive changes from what you've seen over a month ago when I made my last winter forecast. Super cold temperatures on the way. For our first shade of blue here, you can see this extends from the very eastern Rockies through the central United States and up through the northeastern United States. I used to have this touching the Gulf states and Texas and areas like that, but I've really gone a little bit further north with it. I'm thinking that it isn't going to be quite as deep south cold as I thought. Uh, and also, as you're going to notice, the cold is a little bit further west than I originally had pictured as well due to changes in the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to have to make a separate video about the reasoning behind all this but there is some reasons that I've seen that have led me to make this decision. Now let's add our second shade of blue here and you can see from Montana down through the north central United States and into the Great Lakes, this is where we see our second shade of blue, which again is gonna, where it's gonna be very noticeable that you had a cold winter most likely. And we even have a third shade of blue here for the north central United States or the northern plains. And this is gonna be an area where we're gonna be seeing brutal, brutal cold Throughout the winter, it's looking like a very, very cold one is on the way for you guys up there in the north. Now, let's see where our above average temperatures are going to be at. As you can see, the west coast of the United States, as well as the deep south southeastern United States there, like Florida and Georgia, are going to have slightly above average temperatures. Remember, in the first shade, it won't be quite as noticeable as in the second and third shades of some of these layers. So in this first shade, it won't be too noticeable. You won't really notice it's that warm. But for our second shade of orange here for the west coast of the United States, including California, that's where you're going to more notice it and be like, okay, it was actually very, very warm this winter. And you're not going to really look back at it as a, a very cold winter whatsoever. I think that we're going to have below average snow for those regions. So... Again, we can see that this has moved quite a bit further to the west as far as the cold from my previous winter forecast, and it's been over a month since I've made one, so it's understandable that there would be some pretty major changes with it as we're getting a lot closer, so we're getting a much clearer picture as to what we're expecting during this winter of 2019 to 2020. Now, let's get into that snowfall forecast, and this is a snow fall anomaly forecast. So this means it's comparative to what you would average on average expect to see. And you can see this is our below average snowfall region for California, Oregon, Nevada. Obviously for some of those regions, we're not really expecting to ever get snowfall. So you have to kind of pinpoint if you even on average expect to get snowfall at all. But all those areas within that brown shade that do expect to see snowfall, you're gonna be dealing with below average snowfall. With the more dry conditions and the more warm conditions, it just makes sense that you would see less snow than you're typically used to for these southwestern states. Now let's get into some of the regions where we could expect to see much above average snowfall this winter for the winter of 2019 to 2020 right now. 
You can see our above average snowfall region here in this light blue extends from Montana into the Great Lakes states into the New England states as well as some of those mid-Atlantic states there and a little bit of the deep south there for northern Georgia, or northern Alabama and Mississippi. I guess a little bit of Georgia as well. This is because of, again, our clipper systems are going to be coming from areas to the north of Montana and heading through the north central United States, Great Lakes states, and New England. And also our nor'easter storm track, which is going to affect some of those areas in the deeper south and mid-Atlantic states and also New England. So let's add our... Second shade of blue here, which is where we're expecting a m even more above average snowfall, so moderately above average snowfall. This is where you're going to see a much higher percentage of snowfall compared to what you're normally used to or a higher chance at seeing above average snowfall. For more of these interior northeastern regions, again, this has a lot to do with the Pacific Ocean as well. Since we've pulled the colder air further west, the storm tracks are also going to be pulled further west as well. And this is very similar to what we saw last winter, actually, where we see more interior regions see more of the snowfall uh, but I don't want to compare it too much to last winter because there is some huge differences and I know a lot of you did not enjoy last winter whatsoever because along the coast hardly any snow I'm expecting much more snow along the coast than we saw last winter obviously because we saw hardly any last winter but these second shade of blue regions this is where I'm expecting to see a lot of snowstorms and major ones at that could be a very very exciting winter if you live in the light blue or the dark blue, and just because you're not in the blue doesn't mean you're not going to see snow, obviously. So it's going to be an exciting winter for many, many people that live in the United States, obviously. So I would hate, you know, I don't want you guys to think that if you're not in the blue, you're not going to have a good winter. Everybody should have some highlights to the winter and should have some snowy moments unless you're not expecting that on average. Now let's get into that overall forecast where I'm going to reveal to you guys what's underneath all of these question marks and break down all of these regions region by region. Now we're going to start in the southwest and move our way east. This is how I've done it for many, many months now. Uh, it's just easier to kind of start in one area and move over to the next. So we're going to start out with this brown region in California and Nevada. This is where, again, we're expecting dry conditions. You saw this on the precipitation forecast, and we're going to see it again here on the overall forecast. This is where we're expecting dry conditions overall. Now, surrounding that region, we see a warmer region in this orange. This is where we're expecting at least slightly above average temperatures for all of these regions. And it's going to be a little bit more warm than what you're typically used to. And this extends underneath that brown color, but the brown color and the dry conditions is going to be a little bit more notable than the warmer temperatures. Now to your north and east, you can see mountain snow for the Rockies. This should be quite obvious. I just wanted to put that there since I didn't put you guys in the above average snowfall. I'm trying to reiterate the fact that just because you're not in the blue doesn't mean you're not going to see snowfall. We will see plenty of Rocky Mountain snowfall. And if you live there, you know that this is always expected and there's never not snow in the Rockies. Now to your east, we see a flip-flop pattern in that deeper blue. This is an area where we will see a lot of cold in place at times, but also we will see some more mi mild periods at times as well, which is very unlike the areas to your north and your east. We'll get to that in a second, but we're going to start with this gray region down here in Texas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. This is an area where we expect near normal conditions, near normal precipitation, and near normal temperatures. It's going to be pretty close to normal uh, on all in, in all you know aspects of this winter. Now, the areas to the east of that flip-flop pattern, we can see brutal cold in the purple, and that's going to be very different than the flip-flop pattern. I don't expect the cold to let up very much whatsoever. It's going to, and when it is cold, it's going to be very, very cold. Now, you guys are going to see hints of that this November. This forecast isn't valid until December 1st until the end of February. That's meteorological winter is December 1st till the last day of February. So this forecast is not for any time in November, but we will see hints of that taking place here in November. I'm just letting you guys know that live up there. But in this pink, more magenta region down here, we, that's where we're going to expect Arctic blasts. So it's not going to be quite as consistent as the purple region but we will see blasts of this cold air. And overall, you're going to be dealing with a colder than normal winter. But again, it's not going to be quite as consistent. So the cold isn't going to set in and stay there. It might warm up every once in a while. And then the cold comes back through once again. But there will be more consistent periods at times during the winter. Now for the Great Lakes, we're expecting active lakes as we're seeing above average temperatures in those sea surface temperatures in the lakes. That's going to lead to increased chances at lake effect snow and potentially increased amounts of lake effect snow. 
So if you live near the lakes, pay attention to that as we could be seeing a lot of lake effect snow this winter. Now in the pink region to the south of the Arctic blast region, we're expecting this to be our winter battle zone, which is basically an area where we're going to be seeing mostly rainstorms, but at times we will be seeing storms that aren't just purely snowstorms. They will be rain to sleet to ice to snow, something like that. Very sloppy storms. And in this pink region, I don't expect any all snow snowstorms. And that's pretty typical as well. To the south of you, we see a wet region there in the lighter green shade from Texas over through Louisiana. A lot of those Gulf states, again, this is where our nor'easter systems are going to be developing and then eventually heading to the northeast. So we are going to see pretty consistent precipitation in these regions. Now to your east, we see a even darker green. This is where it's going to be warmer and wet. So the only thing that's different about this region is that we will be dealing with warmer than normal temperatures as well as the wet conditions for this region. Now for the most exciting region here, and probably where a lot of you live that are watching this video, the northeast and mid-Atlantic states. Now in this white region, we're expecting big coastal storms, which again is very different than what happened last winter as we had basically no big coastal storms. I think the biggest one we had was maybe in November or December, uh, and then after that it was hardly anything. But I expect big changes this winter, multiple coastal storms this winter should be an exciting winter to track snowstorms with you guys and then last but not least in this red region this is where we expect the worst of winter i think some of the biggest snowstorms this winter are going to infect affect that northeastern and interior mid-atlantic regions of the united states and i think that's where we're going to have our most potent winter storms comparatively to normal of course because i think the rocky mountains might get some bigger snowstorms than out east but the winter will be very very active for this red region Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Be sure to share it with your friends and family on social medias if you think they'll find it useful or informative. So be sure to either private message that to them or tag them in it and post it on your uh, Facebook and other social medias. Also, be sure to like and subscribe as always. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next video.